What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Harrison Graham here with another edition of the Kansas City Chiefs Report. Coming up on today's show, we got a Chiefs Rumors mailbag. Didn't get to go live this past week due to Memorial Day, so put up a community post. Wanted to take some of your questions, so shout out to the Kingdom for rising up and sending in some good ones. Before we get to your questions, why don't you guys get yourself some gear? We got this Chiefs t-shirt and shorts combo available for 40% off at chatsports.com slash Chiefs combo. If you want to get a new Chiefs t-shirt, get some sweet little shorts as well. Go check it out today. Link is in the description and comments of this video. It's chatsports.com slash Chiefs combo. Let's get this mailbag started. Curran Slayer, 8741. Thank you for submitting your question. He asks, if we sign D-Hop, when do you think it will be? Well, report out there from Diana Rossini of ESPN is that within the next week or so, Hopkins will start taking visits. There seems to be conflicting reports on who is interested, who isn't. Like, it sounds like the Bills' uh, interest may not be as strong as people thought. They even signed Marcel Aitman. Uh, the uh, on uh, Thursday as well. Uh, so we'll see if they're still in the mix. We'll see how heavily involved Kansas City gets. Uh, but, uh, you know, in, in terms of a timeline uh, for the receiver on when he could assign with the Chiefs or any other team, like, if it's me, as long as I get him in before training camp, I, I'm pretty content. Like, I would like to get him in there for training camp, uh, you know, to get up to speed with the quarterback, learn the playbook. Uh, he's a vet. He doesn't need that much of a learning curve, but I would prefer, you know, late July, early August as compared to like, you know, two weeks before the season. I think that would be the preferred outcome. So if Kansas City does end up signing DeAndre Hopkins, any time between now and training camp is perfectly fine with me. If you want more Chiefs news, rumors, and analysis, plus much more videos, we're the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're going to have you covered all summer long and lead you up to the 2023 season. From Cord, 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 695, he asks, do you think if we don't get DeAndre Hopkins, could we possibly get Julio Jones? Julio Jones, big name free agent that's still out there on the open market. We've talked about him in the past here on this channel, but I think the past is the key word because presently doesn't have a ton of value. I mean, he has not been the Julio we've come to know and love since 2019. I mean, it's been a steady decline, right? 2020, he was still actually really good in 2020 in nine games, had 771 yards. So, like, had he played a full year, that would have been, you know, still a well above 1,000-yard season. But then these last years in particular, I think the body has just started to uh, decline on him. I mean, the game's played stands out. He's still okay. He can go up and get it. And I think as a red zone guy, he, he still has some value. But – he just isn't what he once was. I mean, I think he's worthy of being on a roster, but if you think he's a number one, two, or even a number three receiver, I, I just think you're setting yourself up for failure if you're an NFL organization. Now, if the Chiefs look at the roster and, you know, what if they get into training camp and maybe Rasheed Rice needs kind of a red shirt year and they don't feel like he's ready uh, quite a bit, maybe Julio's a guy who could come in, be a mentor for these young guys. You have a lot of young receivers and be your number four, number five. I could see that maybe making sense, but you're pretty deep as it is. And with Justin Ross uh, performing well in offseason stuff, like if Justin Ross looks like he's worthy of making the roster, I would rather keep him than to bring in old and uh, not what he once was, Julio Jones. That's just my opinion, but it doesn't mean there's not a scenario that could rise. Injuries always happen. So would you sign Julio Jones? What say you? Type S for sign or P for pass. Get your votes in down in the comments below. We'll make this the pen comment, so reply with an S for sign or P for pass. Kells in for real. Do you agree with me that Richie James is getting slept on and should join the 53-man roster? Well, he's on the 90-man roster. I think you just mean make the 53-man roster. Um, you know, I don't know about slept on, but, yeah, he's absolutely in the mix. I mean, he was pretty good last year, and Dave Tobe, special teams coordinator, says he's in the mix on punt and kick return. So uh, that could be the key for him, right? Like special teams value. Uh, for Richie James. Like, if he can be a consistent special teamer, then he'll make this team and rotate in at wide receiver because last year he was pretty damn solid for the Giants as a slot receiver. 57 catches, 569, four touchdowns. I mean, you would take that production in a heartbeat uh, if you're the Chiefs. I mean, he's a guy that is going to have to earn a roster spot. So the fact that, uh, you know, he's not even a lock and he was at, he's actually a pretty solid player, I think that bodes well. Uh, you know, he'll have to compete with guys like, Justin Watson and Justin Ross uh, to kind of sneak onto this roster. But, again, the special teams is the key, an area that Justin Watson performs well at as well. Uh, so a couple of uh, interesting uh, things to consider there. 
from Polly D. Dwayne Smoot is a defensive end we haven't talked about much. Could the Chiefs sign him? He is a player we haven't talked about much here on the Chiefs Report, and maybe a player we should have on our radars more. I know a lot of the talk's been about bringing back Frank Clark, but Dwayne Smoot is a pretty consistent player. I mean, if you look at his regular season production in terms of sacks in comparison to Frank Clark, it's pretty similar, right? Like, he basically gives you five to six sacks a year. Frank Clark with the Chiefs outside of his first year has kind of been in that four to six sack range. Uh, obviously, Clark is a much more proven playoff player, but Dwayne Smoo, uh is solid and could absolutely come in and be a part of a rotation. And I'll add one more little nugget that makes him interesting for the Chiefs as well. Steve Spagnuolo loves big defensive ends, like 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 260 plus. He fits the size-weight combination. Like, he fits that mold that Steve Spagnuolo has looked for uh, typically in defensive ends. Like, remember when he first took the job, that's a big reason why they traded D Ford. He was undersized uh, and brought in Frank Clark because he was a bigger defensive end. Dwayne Smoot is a big defensive end that can even occasionally kick inside on uh, passing downs as well. So uh, I would be interested, uh, you know, come in, be a rotation pass rusher, give you five sacks. I think that would be pretty damn solid. Now, name a free agent you want the Chiefs to go out and sign. Uh, maybe it's Dwayne Smoot, maybe it's DeAndre Hopkins, Frank Clark, someone else. Drop a name right now in the comment section. Mo Smith gets the final word. Who gets extended first, Chris Jones or Legarius Sneed? Um, I think uh, Chris Jones. I think I, I would like to keep both, but I think Chris Jones gets extended first, and uh, there's really a few reasons why I think uh, the veteran defensive tackle gets done first, and these are a couple that come to mind. Number one, it lowers his cap hit for 2023, so that gives you more flexibility uh, against the cap, which I think uh, is important, especially if you're going to go out and sign another player or two. Uh, extending Jones is the easiest way to clear up some money. Uh, number two, as good as Snead is, Jones is a bigger on-field impact. He's also uh, irreplaceable, whereas as good as Snead is, you've got some quarterbacks that you can uh, uh, plug and play uh, beyond this year if you had to. And because of that, I think you can afford to wait on the Jerry Snead. You can say, you know what, uh, let's let this year play out and uh, see how things shake out at quarterback. Uh, Chris Jones, that's a guy you should want to keep for a while. So uh, I think uh, those are some big reasons why. All right, guys, appreciate you for tuning in to this mailbag. We will be back soon with another video here on the Chiefs Report. My name's Harrison Graham. Until then, go Chiefs.